We gave the CEO of Telstra, Andrew Penn, a text. Now let me take you through what I said. Stay with me. I've gone half live here. I said to Mr. Penn, when people get sick or die due to 5G, does this make you responsible? Or are you just the good employee doing his job? I'd just like to know who's directly responsible for this 5G onslaught. So far it's you. And Mr. Penn replied to me. What a nice man. Didn't expect the reply. There it is there. I understand your concerns, but all Telstra mobile base stations are compliant with the relevant Australian safety standards and have given us the green signal for overall assessments of health and safety impacts. And he's given me the links, which is cool. So my last response to him was, these new microcells or base stations will be admitting radiations at frequencies and power levels far higher millimeter wavelengths than those that we are currently subjected. So how can we know it's safe? Can it truly be, be proven this microwave microwave frequency band is safe? He hasn't replied to that one, but I'm going to take you through the links that Mr. Penn gave that we can all go to check to find out the safety of this. So you got the World Health Organization, who's um, Geneva, Switzerland, who's approved it. You can run right through their website and find out why they believe 5G is safe. He also less left um, ARP, ANSA. So I went to their site. Oh, account suspended. Not sure what that's about. But he also left down the bottom here, Telstra dot com dot au forward slash consumer dash advice basically anyway check that one out i found some interesting stuff in there about 5g it asks what is 5g it explains it there's heaps of information for you to do your own research and find out if you believe what they've been told is safe i mean they can only run off the information they're given before they push it forward he believes the information he's given that it's safe, so he's going ahead with it. Where did I go? Again, we're going to these links, and there's a lot of decent information. I'm actually trying to find... Damn it. Stick with me. Damn it again. But again, you know, in any government job... Who's to blame? This is why all government work, there's no one to blame because he can say, well, I only took their advice. Then they pass it down the line to someone else. Well, I only took this person's advice on their research. No one ever takes responsibility because no one's directly really responsible. But I say, well, mate, you put it forward. You've read it. You thought you believed their advice. You're the one responsible. We've all got choice. Number four, where was it? Here it is here. Found it. What frequencies is Telstra using for 5G? The initial radio frequencies that will be used for 5G in Australia are 3.5 gigahertz and 3.6 gigahertz, which are in the existing model mobile brand. In future years, radio frequencies in the millimeter wave band at 26 to 28 gigahertz are expected to be used for 5G in Australia. So they're already telling you what they start with isn't what we're going to be subjected to. They're going to be putting up, putting up this frequency millimetre wave microwaving way higher in the future. When you read through all this, it also says though that it also is in the broad spectrum of the safety region that it can be um, transmitted. It's all safe still. But it's just going to show they intend on putting this at a way higher band in the future. So where, where, where does it stop? They can do what they want in the future. Put it on us, we won't even know when they've turned it up. Again, when I've read through this, 
I didn't think it was um, a safe frequency band they were using other than other things I've read. They say it is. You make the call. They're going to change it in the future to go higher. That's right. No, they said they're basing it on it's still in the actual, damn it. It's in the frequency range which is safe. But they, I didn't find anywhere where they said they've actually tested the uh, 5G frequency for safety. They've just, because it's in the range of what's previously existed, they're going off previous um, research. Bit confusing, but anyway, there it is, people. You can go there yourself. You can go to Twitter, Andrew Penn. Go to his Twitter account. Look for the response and go through it yourself. Do your own research. I don't think what he's sent out and checking all these advice he's been given is that reassuring at all that it's safe.